Okay, we've got another Clean Water Systems instructional video for you today. We're going to show you how to set up and start your Proox iron filter system uh, using a 5900 BT valve. Okay, so for this cubic foot system, um, this is how it's going to arrive at your house. There'll be four boxes. One will contain your media tank. One will contain half a cubic foot of your ChemSorb excuse me, your Proox. There'll be a smaller box with ChemSorb and Proox, and then a box with gravel and your control valve. Okay, so we've got everything unboxed. Uh, I did want to mention at this time, you do want to make sure you have everything in your kit prior to starting your assembly uh, and or uh, contacting your plumber to come out and install. Uh, so anyway, you have your media tank, you have your D-tube, you have your Proox. This is the smaller bag of Proox that goes with it. This is your gravel. This is your chem sorb. So your control valve, your media funnels, bypass valve, one inch adapters, power supply, and your instruction manual. For today's purposes, we're going to be hooking up to these one inch ports here. One more thing to mention before we get started today, we want to make sure for these smaller systems you have at least 5 GPM of water pressure. Otherwise, when you go to do your back flush, you won't be able to clean the media out. So it's very important for this size you have at least 5 GPM. We also have available some optional equipment if you uh, choose to purchase to help your ease of installation. Uh, we have the drain tube. We have the one inch flex lines and we have the air ga uh, gap which uh, is used on the drain. Okay we're going to go ahead and start. Um, we're going to set up and fill our media tank. Uh, first thing we're going to do is install our D-tube. Uh, we want to make sure these thread together. Uh, sometimes they come loose in transportation so you just want to make sure this is tight. We're going to go ahead and set the D-tube down into the media cylinder and as you can see the D-tube comes up above this surface. You want to make sure this gets seated all the way down into the divot in the bottom of the tank. Uh, kind of a nifty way to do that is just go ahead and take and spin it and then as you can see it popped down in there and now it's level so you're good to go with that. So basically we're going to fill the tank with the medias. Uh, you want to make sure you don't get any media down the inside of your D-tube. So we have two different type funnels first one is this black funnel and it has a neat little cap right here that the D-tube actually sits in and then the media floats down around it. The second type funnel that we have has a hole straight through it. So if you have one of these blue type funnels, you're going to go ahead and need to go ahead and put some tape over the D-tube. So a couple things, uh, get yourself a piece of tape, make yourself a little buddy tab. You want to make sure this is easy to remove. What you don't want to do is get the media filled and then the, lift the D-tube up as you're removing this tape. If you do that, you'll either have to, uh, normally you can't feed it back down in, you'll probably have to end up emptying your tank um, and starting over, uh, which you don't want to do. So anyway, just, uh, just warning, when you do remove the tape, you want to make sure you keep that D-tube seated down in there. For today's uh, demonstration we're going to go ahead and use the black funnel. So the first thing you're going to do, and again your gravel, your Proox, your uh, ChemSorb, everything is weighed out pre-measured for your size of tank. So the first thing you want to do is put your gravel in and this basically is going to fill up just above the lower uh, basket. The next thing you'll do is you'll put both your large bag and your small bag of Proox in. Once you've completed that, last but not least, you'll put in your ChemSorb on top. Okay, once you have your ChemSorb in, again, you want to very carefully remove this funnel, not raising the D-tube up. You're going to go ahead and fill your cylinder with water all the way up to about here. 
Then what you're going to want to do is grab some standard household bleach, unscented. Put one cup of bleach down the D2. You want to let that sit for at least an hour or up to 24 hours before you proceed.